This is Dubai Airport, which only operates on two runways. This is London Gatwick. Totally did not get that from Project Flight, also operating on two runways. All right, let's go to a bigger runway. This is Tokyo Haneda, operating on four. Now you might be thinking, that's it, right? Dead wrong. Let's go to the land of McDonald's to see what their airport looks like. All right, let's look at some of the airports. Okay. Ew, only one runway? Boring. Next, LaGuardia with two. Next, LAX with four. And next. Oh my god! Atlanta Airport, one of the busiest airports in America, has five runways. But there's another airport that blows us out of the water. My favorite airport, O'Hare. Whoops, wrong one. Here it is. This airport has eight runways and only operates on five simultaneously as Atlanta. But this begs the question, why? Why does O'Hare Airport have eight runways when Dubai can operate with two? Well, first, let's play a game called Aircraft Time. Did you get the names? Give yourself a pat on the back because you did. This is an Airbus A380 and this is an Airbus A320. Now, if you are still confused about why I'm showing you this, it's because of their capacity. The A320 can carry up to 180 people on board, while the A380 can carry up to 853. In a scenario where both planes are packed with passengers, the A380 can carry up to five Ooh. times more passengers than the Airbus A320. Since Emirates Airline Hub is in Dubai, 777s and A380s, which are wide-body aircrafts and fly internationally, land there more often, carrying more people. On the other hand, America has many domestic flights, which use the aircraft like the Airbus A320. If one Airbus A380 lands on the runway at maximum capacity, this is equal to five Airbus A320s landing at the same time. Due to safety reasons, one plane can only land on one runway at a time. So if five Airbus A320s are landing at O'Hare Airport simultaneously, that's one Airbus A380 landing. Since America is the third largest country in the world, I mean, for, uh, third or fourth, whatever, and has a lot of highly populated areas, there are many domestic flights across Big Mac land. Domestic flights are routes that are in the same country for departures and arrivals. Since domestic routes are short, airlines often use planes like the 737, 820, 820, Embraers, and CRJ like the CRJ-200. The most common I always see are the 737s, CRJ, and or Embraer. What I'm trying to say here is that bigger planes can hold more passengers while smaller planes can hold less passengers. This is one of the reasons why American airports need more runways. Another reason why they need more runways is for things like runway closure, traffic, traffic. weather patterns, and etc. If any of these happens with one of Atlanta's runways, the airport does not have a spare runway, so they just get more stress and more busy. This is another reason why O'Hare Airport has eight runways. Usually, they only operate with five daily, but in case of some strong wind or unexpected weather, which Chicago is basically known for, ATC can easily redirect planes to another runway. This goes for the same for runway closure or traffic patterns. Traffic, traffic, well. traffic. Now you might be asking, okay, since most American airports have more runways or less, why can't they just expand? Well, the two reasons why. The first reason is room, and the other reason is money. Now let's talk about the first reason. The first reason why American airports can't expand is because we have to look back at the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. During these times, American airports started building. But here's the problem. Today, there is barely any room to be surrounded by buildings that people live or work in. This makes it hard to expand, and they are forced to stay in their old runway patterns. These old runway patterns are inefficient, causing traffic. Now, if an airport wants to change this, there are two options, but both really suck. The first one is renovating the airport, or two, hit the reset button and go back to square one. Both of these options suck, and here's why. The renovating idea is really bad because first, it will slow down profit, traffic, and in general, the airport itself. Also, where are you even going to put the passengers in the planes? If you want to put them on the roof, I know you can, but I don't know how you're going to do that. The second way to upgrade the airport is escape or enter. This makes the airport lead the chat and it's also risky and also very expensive. The reason why it's risky is because you don't have enough money to restart and the airport will not be completed and will be abandoned if that was the case. If you do have money, it will take a while for the airport to make profit and get it back up and running again, which is normal. After I mention these, you might be wondering, how money is an issue? 
because Apple makes a lot of money reaching the millions. Well, millions of dollars may seem a lot, but it becomes a speck of dust when compared to other prices. The issue with the resetting thing is money. Since 1926, airports outside of DC have to be self-funding, meaning that airports have to make money on their own profits that they gain or earn. This can be risky for airports because it can be abandoned or get bulldozed, like I said earlier. But here's also another thing. American airports barely receive any investment from the government. For example, Atlanta made $130 million from investments from the government. And even if they do reset, they have to start small and not be busy. The students start slow and can even forget about efficiency and could get stuck with their own designs after when the airport has been reset. What I'm trying to say here is that airports have to get money on their own, but to make it more efficient, it is really expensive. Plus, there has to be a plan like designing one with the runways, taxiways, terminals, gates, ATC, and other stuff, and where they should go. In the end, American airports need more runways for traffic management, runway closure, and handling of domestic planes. But even if they want to, they can't because of the lack of room and money issue. Maybe in the future, this will change and American airports will have more efficient designs. But for now, it is what it is. But what if one airport was start from scratch? What if one airport barely has any room but was revamped to be more efficient and keep up with traffic? We don't know if that will happen because only time will tell. There. If you liked this video, I'm sure you'll like the next video. If you made it this far, comment I made it this far. Please like and subscribe for more aviation content like this. It's just two clicks that happens in less than a second and it can help me out so much. Also, I like the play model, it's free and you can cancel at any time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.